Welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to be talking about 3 out of 10, which is a free-to-play uh, episodic game from the Epic Store. Uh, it's about a small independent game studio trying to make their uh, their first game, well not the first game, but it's their first game to score more than 3 out of 10. Uh, it's a bit of a low bar, but uh, they've never had one of their games score higher than that before, so that's kind of like the, the context for 3 out of 10. It's kind of hard to describe it as a game. Uh, it's more of a series of funny cutscenes with mini games in between. Um, but we'll dive in and I can show you what the, what the art style looks like and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, this is uh, this is what the game looks like. Um, I love the uh, Midge's walking animation here. Um, it's, it's sort of like a pseudo 3D kind of on a like a 2D plane kind of uh, kind of feel. But this is the art style. Um, basically, what's happened here? You play a couple of a couple of different characters, but you mainly play as Midge, um, who is a uh, they're an animator. Um, here to uh, interview for uh, for the the new newly um, available position of animator at the studio. Uh, this is where the animator used to be, and uh, they, they've kind of exploded. Okay, this guy didn't really explode, did he? Can that actually happen? He might have. Uh, the pressure at working at the studio got to the the lead animator, and so they exploded. Uh, but very quickly, Midge is. Uh, basically hired on the spot and thrown into the deep end um, at, this, at this studio. Uh, you can see some some signs of like protesters and stuff in the background um, during the, the introduction cutscene. Um, the, the, the studio is making a, a game about a surfer and uh, there's a shark chasing the surfer. But they advertise it as a great white shark and they change it to a tiger shark. And so the mob, the gaming mob outside is uh, protesting the fact they're, it's, they're they've it's, it's the wrong shark, basically. They've, they've advertised a different shark, and it's a different shark in the game. So the, the internet mob is unhappy. Um, so a lot of the game's humor is kind of derived from a lot of, like, game studio or games industry uh, memes and uh, things you would recognize. It's a bit meta. If you work in the games industry, industry then a lot of the stuff here can be very meta. Um, there's a joke, I think, in episode 3, or maybe it's episode four, something like that, about um, uh, engineers to, like drive their power or they gain their power from the more monitors they have, the more power they have, which I find really funny. Um, I don't know how many people outside the, of the of the games industry will will find jokes like that relatable and or you know humorous. Um, you have the artist here has like his figurines and he's very protective about his about his art as well. Um, and what else do we have? Do we have anyone else around here? What else do we have? Is it the engineer? I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> There's a sign in the background. Get rid of angry fans. Giveaway. Steam keys. T-shirts. Interns. So, yeah. There's a lot of very, very silly humor in this game. Okay, so I mentioned the, the mini games earlier. Um, basically, you don't actually have to... You don't have to complete the mini games to actually progress in the game. Um, I mean, there's... At the end of every chapter, there's a summary of like how many stars you achieve, and you gain stars from doing uh, like optional objectives in between the mini games um, and scoring highly in these mini games. You can see here, I've got a score out of five stars. So there is a there is a, a score to achieve if you want to, if you want to, um, and there's a little bit of challenge in some of the some of the mini games, but you don't actually have to reach a certain past level you don't have to achieve like I, I i will i won't fail this if i only get one star um you can actually just skip the mini games if you wanted which kind of makes the game itself like the five episodes kind of just this one long game industry cartoon uh or satire cartoon so it's not it, that's why i say it's like it's kind of hard to describe it as a game um that, that, that's kind of why like there, there's some challenge in them if you want to go for the five stars if you want to like you know try and get the best score you possibly can there'll, there'll be a, there's a little bit of challenge in there but the mini games themselves aren't too complicated um this is a good one for example the the artist wants to know i think the artist wants to know um how skilled we are uh considering we're an animator we should be able to follow like a certain poses we have to actually have to we have to pose his action figures um this is in, bloody chuck in different that poses that's how you know uh, it's a good so design, okay that's kind of oops let's go with that one this is kind of how this minigame works but each one 
more or less follows like uh, either a really simple pattern is the sturdy hero of the game. or um, the they, they, they pay homage to sweet. a game in the series. Like there's one I think in episode four or five, it's kind of like a Zelda or like Binding of Isaac kind of top down view. Um, this one's also like a, a po mini game pose or sorry, not mini game animation pose kind of thing. Um, there's a driving mini game. There, there was like push block mini games. So like there's, there's a lot of variety. Um, I think there's only I think literally only a couple of puzzles have repeated throughout the throughout the episodes. Like maybe I'll see the same puzzle in episode three as I did in episode one. They don't repeat usually in the same episode. So um, each episode itself only lasts. Actually, I think each episode itself only lasts like what half an hour, forty minutes. So there's not really many games in there anyway. Um, and like I said, you can actually skip them. I can just hold Y. Game skipped. Uh, we, you actually you don't have to play the mini games at all, which is actually pretty good accessibility wise. Um, if you really struggle with some of these mini games, but then at the same time you're like, well, there's not really much game here left if you do skip them. So, you know, um, that's that's kind of why I say is is difficult to to say is like it's an episodic game series. It's kind of more like a it's kind of it's a bit like an Adult Swim cartoon in a way. Uh, maybe slightly tamer humor, but kind of similar animation and joke style. Um, and yeah, like each one's like half an hour, uh, like half an hour long. So yeah, it's it's a pretty good cartoon overall. So yeah, if you uh, if you work in the games in the games industry, I think you'll probably get a kick out of this game. Um, it's it's pretty meta. Um, I like the the silly satirical kind of commentary and some of the silly situations. The characters are all pretty cool. The humor is pretty nice. Um, in general, um, it's a pretty fun game. Like I say, it's free as well, and each episode only takes a short amount of your time. Um, so it, it's a good, it's a good like palate cleanser in between maybe some bigger games or more serious games that you, you maybe you, ha you have on your plate right now. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. There, there's not really much more to say about the game. It's it's very uh, it's very simple to to get through, and um, there's not a lot of hidden depth there that I could really go into much detail about. Um, but it was fun, so I recommend it. It was a fun game. If you've liked what you've watched, uh, or you want to talk about more episodic games, or just generally how you found this game, then you can post in the comments below, reach me on Twitter or on Twitch. Uh, there'll be links to stuff popping up on the screen and posted down below and stuff. Otherwise, thanks for watching.